Hello students. So here in this problem, we have to prove that sine 10 degree into cos 40 degree into cos 20 degree is equal to 1 upon 8. Now guys, to prove that this trigonometric terms which are multiplying each other is equal to 1 by 8, I should evaluate the value of these trigonometric angles. Now, if you are thinking about evaluating the value of these angles through calculator, then let me tell you that it is not allowed in examination. We should prove it mathematically by solving that the value of multiplication of these three trigonometric terms is equal to 1 upon it. Now how to get the answer? So since here we have left hand side and right hand side and left hand side has maximum number of terms, I'll start my solution with left hand side. So here I'll say LHS that is left hand side is equal to now if you see these three terms then what I'll do is I'll just consider two terms at a time because when I consider two terms at a time that is two trigonometric terms which are multiplying each other then it reminds me about the formula of defactorization. Now what are the formulas of defactorization? For that, let's see the first two terms. So I can take first two terms in a pair or I can take second and third term in a pair. So if you see these first two terms, which is sine 10 degree into cos 40 degree. So it is matching with the defactorization term of sin a into cos b as you can see here that this a can be 10 degree and this b can be 40 degree now you must be thinking where is this 2 so if this 2 is not given you don't have to worry because we can take this 2 to the other side and that will go and divide this whole term so what we'll do is we'll apply this first formula of defactorization over there where I'll take this 2 on the other side which will become 1 upon 2 and sin a plus b plus sin a minus b where a is 10 degree and b is 40 degree. So let's start. So here we will get 1 upon 2 as I said which is outside in bracket sin of 10 degree plus 40 degree plus sin of 10 degree minus 40 degree. So here I have applied the defactorization formula into cos of 20 degree. So here in reason you can write down that formula that is 2 times sin A into cos B is equal to sin A plus B plus sin A minus B. Now after applying this formula, we can add these angles. So here we will get it is equal to 1 upon 2 times sine of 50 degree and this will be 10 minus 40 that is minus 30. So plus sine of minus of 30 degree into cos of 20 degree. Now sine of minus 30 degree for that I'll again apply one trigonometric identity that is sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine theta. So obviously sine of minus 30 will be minus sine 30. So here we'll get is equal to So now here we got negative sine now to solve it further, what can we do is, we have sin 30 degree and we know the value of sin 30 degree from table. So we know that sin 30 degree is 1 by 2, so I'll substitute that value and here we will get 1 upon 2 sin of 50 degree minus 1 upon 2 into cos of 20 degree. Now to get answer as 1 upon 2, I have to solve it further and for that, I'll take this cos 20 degree inside the bracket. So it will come inside and it will multiply these two terms. So here we will get sin 50 degree into cos 20 degree 
minus 1 upon 2 cos 20 degree and this half is outside. So, Now, here in the second term, we have angle as 20 degree and for cos 20 degree, we do not have value from the table. So, we'll keep it as it is. Whereas, if you see the first term, it is sine 50 degree into cos 20 degree. Again, it is matching with the same defactorization formula and hence here, I'll apply this formula once again by treating A as 50 degree and B as 20 degree. And about this two, I'll take this two on the other side so that will become 1 upon 2 so let's apply the formula so we will get 1 upon 2 which is originally which is outside now this is new 1 upon 2 of the formula in bracket sine Now, we got this value. So, let's solve this. So, here we will get 1 by 2 outside. Here, 1 upon 2 in the bracket. Sine of 70 degree plus sine of 30 degree. Minus 1 upon 2 cos of 20 degree. Now, let's take this 1 upon 2 inside. So, here we will get 1 by 4 into sine of 70 degree and sine 30 degree is 1 by 2 so plus half minus this 1 by 2 will multiply this 1 by 2 and we will get 1 by 4 cos of 20 degree now let's multiply this bracket with 1 by 4 so we will get 1 by 4 sine of 70 degree plus 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 that is 1 by 8 minus 1 by 4 cos of 20 degree now here we got three terms out of that one term is 1 upon 8 and guys if you see the answer then we want answer as 1 upon 8 it means whatever this two term that we have it should get cancelled then only we can get 1 upon 8 so now how to cancel it because one term is sine whereas the other term is cos and yes, they are opposite in sine. So what we'll do is, we'll convert either this cos into sine, so that these two terms will become sine, or we will convert this sine into cos, so that this is cos and this is also cos, and we can cancel it. So let's convert it. So I'll convert this cos 20 degree into sine. So here I'll say it is equal to 1 upon 4, sine of 70 degree plus 1 by 8 minus 1 by 4 cos of now to convert it into sine i'll subtract this angle from pi by 2 or 90 degree so here i'll say it is 90 degree minus 70 degree as you can see this adjustment that i have represented this 20 degree as 90 minus 70 now here we got the formula cos of 90 minus theta which is equal to sin theta. So we can say that it is equivalent to 1 by 4 sin 70 degree plus 1 by 8 minus 1 by 4 and cos of 90 minus theta here I will write cos of 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta. So here I'll say it is sine of 70 degree and now we can cancel these terms which are equal and opposite in sine and therefore we will just get 1 upon 8 and this is our required right hand side. Thank you.